I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMAR 2 News headlines. Maryland's positivity rate remains unchanged at 3.36%. Hospitalizations now below 800. That is the lowest number that we've seen since November 10th. More than 17,000 people were vaccinated yesterday. In all, more than one and a half million doses have been administered so far here in our state. Well, the White House says Americans could start receiving stimulus checks within weeks. The House is expected to narrowly pass the $1.9 trillion COVID relief bill tomorrow. In addition to another round of direct payments, it includes more unemployment assistance and expansion of the child tax credit and tens of billions of dollars for vaccines, schools, state and local governments. Maryland Senator Chris Van Holland and Ben Cardin hosted a Zoom press conference today detailing the resources coming to our state. As of now, Maryland, we believe, will get $3.9 billion. Uh, counties will get uh, over a billion, about $1.1 billion. Um, municipalities, um, about $1.1 billion. Um, and just to give you an example, and this is something that Senator Card and I worked very hard uh, for, uh, Baltimore City will receive over $600 million. Senator Van Hollen says this money is more flexible than the funds from the CARES Act. He says the first half of the money should come within 60 days of the signing of the bill. The rest will come after one year. What you did. You President Biden won't be coming to Baltimore as originally scheduled. He was set to come Wednesday for a meeting with the CEOs of Johnson & Johnson and Merck at Emergent Biosolutions. That is one of the manufacturers making the Johnson & Johnson coronavirus vaccine. Instead, the president will host the two CEOs at the White House. I'm tracking a chilly start to the morning, but not as cold as things were today. We're talking about hovering in the low 40s during the morning drive, warming into the mid to upper 60s through the afternoon with mostly clear sky. It's going to be a beautiful afternoon, as I expect. Daytime highs hit 67 degrees here in the city of Baltimore, mid to upper 60s across the rest of the state with slightly cooler numbers along the bay. And as we head through the next few days, temperatures will be warming, so it's going to get even hotter. We're talking about heading to the 70s as we head towards Thursday before a cold front brings rain chances for Friday and cooler numbers for the weekend. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news and also for news and weather while you're on the go. Download the WMER2 News app in the App Store. You can watch our live radar and also get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.